Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad from Rad Kutaro and uh, in this whole video we are going to look into Sagittarius and their week December 7th to uh, December 13th 2020 and uh, in case you are interested in a personal reading uh, with me or you want to dive into Taro and learn how to read, all that you can find at my website which link you can find as well at the description down below. So with that being said, let me just finish the shuffle, make the cut and let's see what you got. So a first card here which does describe the topic of your week Sagittarius, that is going to be the Two of Pentacles. Uh, moving next we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic itself, that is to be the Wheel of Fortune. Followed by the third one which stands as the challenges that you are to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Eight of a Swords. Afterwards, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy. Uh, that will be the uh, Page of Wands, followed by the impression that uh, you are to leave into the people around. That is how others see you. And we do have the Six of Wands. Moving next are the obstacles which are to hold you down and back. That is to be the Three of uh, Swords. Next one, that is to be the gifts, not the gifts and the blessings, but the positive aspects from the week itself that are to help you move through the week. That will be the Ten of Cups. And the last one here that stands as the guidance the Tower is offering to you, Sagittarius, we have the Two of Cups. All right, so pretty interesting here. Uh, just give me, give me a second. So, it's a pretty tough read, but let's move from the first two cards, okay? So we do have the energies here of the, of the Wheel of Fortune and then it is the Two of Pentacles. So what happens throughout this week for you Sagittarius is a... Um, something like a transformation. It's the best way how I can describe it here. Because from those energies, you are gonna start changing up your concepts and orientating and orienting your concepts toward a uh, activities or an enterprise, even people, if you will, that are those which make difference, okay? That actually changes your life. And the rest is going to become um, more and more as time progresses, totally irrelevant. And that is going to be the very concept and the very aspect of your week with the Two of Pentacles here, that you are going to start, you know, transforming or uh, not transforming, but the word is uh, transferring, I'm sorry. So you're gonna start transferring more and more effort or, or attitude or intentions <clears throat> or um, not manifestation, but a... Uh, incorporation from one thing into another. For you to start seeing that one thing, it's not as relevant as it was before. And now you need to, through the new, seeing your situation through the new concepts, another thing starts to become more important than the first one. And that is how slowly but steadily, bit by bit, one step after another, you are going to start making, changing your life toward much better than it was before. Take it as it is that you are aligning with the future right now. It's in your start vibrating with the future at the same frequency. But uh, with those energies, you are always going to seek those kind of opportunities and those kind of, how can I say, experiences and enterprises which are um, in generally making you feel alive and not just only that but it's difficult to describe it but it gives you um, no opportunity but a field forward to to progress to 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 grow okay that that's the whole point 
And uh, for that reason, you may expect that from that week you are going to attend to things you never did before, right? Or, or you are going to um, find uh, an affiliation or an affinity toward a hobby that you never thought you were going, going to do anymore. Or you are going to talk with people that you never associated yourself with before and so on and so forth. So there will be a, a major change here that we do have. And uh, like I said, that change comes very, very spontaneously. It's just the energies are dragging you toward that point. But it's very important that you do start realizing that the change is happening, whether you like it or not. And it, it, the best thing here is, is that it gives you time. That is not something that just you know overwhelms your life, but it gives you time to start transferring attitude, devotion, uh, and uh, efforts from the outdated stuff to the new stuff. Moving next, we do have the challenges that you are to overcome throughout the week, and that is the challenge of the Eight of Swords. And the challenge is, re is referring to breaking down the walls, breaking down the boundaries. These changes that are to take place, they are happening outside of your comfort zone, Sagittarius. Uh, and that is the mental comfort zone we have. In other words, you may be afraid to think of that you can do those stuff. Now, what I think of that could be also referring to your sexual life, okay? It could be referring as well to your career. It could be referring as well to your friendships. Regardless what it is, you have to put your mindset of an, in an exploration mode to explore new stuff, to explore new concepts, and to adapt to that explore, oh my God, exploration as well. Or, it's another, or in other words, that is to be the challenge that you have to let go of, of, of the previous ways, if you will, and align yourself, adapt yourself with the new ways here. For whether, again, you like it or whether you're ready for it or not, that doesn't make it untrue. And with the Eight of Swords, if the truth does make you free, then what the denial of it makes you, right? So if you do see, for example, that your friend now starts having new interests or, or your partner in life uh, is adopting kind of like new ways of doing things, try to see the things from their perspective, try to see, you know, the situation from their perspective. And I guarantee you that you're going to like it. Okay, just don't be stuck with the past. Be more open to the future for the future is coming for you, whether you like it or not. Uh, something I, I else came to my mind with the Eight of Swords, but I can't figure out what it was right now. Um, yeah, it's uh, the, this this particular situation that I just described may cause in some of you a sense of helplessness. That you, don't want to go by with it, but it is just how life throws you into that direction. And uh, it, you may feel that you are not prepared. You are, okay? For nobody expects you that you have born learned on something. And that is why you do have that time of alignment, that time of re redistributing your efforts, your devotion and your time as well. Uh, moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy, and that is the gift and the blessing of the page of of the page of wands. Uh, usually, that would be person, but not in your case here. The gift and the blessing is your own personal strength and your own personal mindset that you can believe, you should believe, and you are going to believe that you can do it. You are going to be reminded of your personal strength, how strong you are in reality. And that is going to make you open for everything new that comes about. And again, to you, what it is left to you to do is just to explore it. Another thing that could be a gift and blessing here, it is a very positive and good news that is going to come your way, which is going to open your uh, doorways. It, it's like take it as a green light of you to do something or you to um, initiate a certain enterprise or a certain activity and... Um, and so on and so forth. Another gift and blessing that uh, you are going to be, how can I say, uh, fortunate with is uh, the cons conservation of your fragile nature. Uh, what I mean here it is that no matter what people talks about you or what kind of an actions they take, 
nobody is going to be able to touch the fragile nature within and uh, you are to face everything with a smile it's, it's because no matter how much someone tries to hurt you uh, i mean emotionally and passionately here not physically though um because there are always such kind of people that they won't be able to it's just your your inner inner self according to this card here is pretty much closed to to these people and those that sees your uh, see your fragile nature nature i'm sorry they are going to aim to cultivate nurture uh, and nourish it rather than to ravage and destroy it moving next we do have the impression that uh, you are going to leave into people around and people are going to see you very lucky here okay people are going to see you that you do totally deserve all the amazing changes that are to happen in your life moving forward into the future and now that i think of i forgot to mention with the wheel of fortune and the two of pentacles it is that is going to be an escalation what i mean is that it's going to start these changes are going to take off of something small and they will snowball moving forward and that exactly is what is going to give you the time and and how can i say the perception needed in order to start aligning your concepts with the new situations that you are going to face moving forward into the future but with the six of wands of how people are going to see you they are going to see you very fortunate they are going to see you as well totally deserving the rewards of universe and uh, very lucky okay that that's that's pretty much what they what they are going to see within you and uh, some of uh, some of those around especially if the if the changes are leading you toward them for example something small happens into your career and you get to be reassigned into someone's project that person the owner of the project or the the, the how can i say the um yeah the one that holds the status quo of the project are going to see you as a savior as a liberator something like that so people are in generally are going to be very happy if they are involved with you into uh, into the enterprises of the day and into the activities of the day um, the only thing that i can suggest to you here is not to look at the people from a high horse but remain your humbleness for what they are going to see is going to be true for the most part but you are not quite where you can be and you don't want to make a enemies throughout uh, throughout the way by uh, for example humiliating or or acting uh, arrogant toward uh, toward people around so yeah just remind yourself that you are a human and if somebody treats you well or rather like if somebody uh, is looking at you with uh, with a grace graceful it is what you need to be moving next we do have the uh, things that are going to hold you back and hold you down that is pretty trivial card into that uh, position three of swords could refer to a couple of things a three of swords could refer to similar situations from the past that you pretty much had very bad taste from and it is not like you are presuming that you know the new situations are to develop in a such a way as the uh, as in as as it was in the past but instead keeping up with the bitter taste from that failure or disappointment that you do had in the past so what is going to cause that within your own new changing situations well it could make you a little bit more frantic than usual a little bit more impatient a little bit more uh, how can i say hectic believing into the doom and gloom with your mind while your heart and the circumstances are saying otherwise and this just is going to reflect to your um, to your mood and to your general standing here but it is not going to affect on your performance and for that reason i do believe that out of all signs in this uh in this week you are the most safe one that that nothing literally can pushes you off your path and off uh and off your way <clears throat> and uh, the other thing that uh, it may cause here or it may appear from the tree of swords is about a personal responsibility because what i said 
uh, with the gift and the blessing, it is that you are going to be reminded of your personal strength, which pretty much points that you are going to aim to undertake for as much as you can singularly um, the responsibilities that the new changes are bringing in. And um, at some point you may realize that a lot is riding on you, a lot is hanging out there and it is waiting for your incorporation in your performance and that may cause a, a sense of, of stress that many are counting on you or much is riding on you, like I said. Another thing that could uh, hold you back, it is, it is if you do uh, involve yourself into a how can I say, pretty irrelevant uh, activities here and how you're going to rec recognize those irrelevant activities when things are pretty much not working out. Uh, when you make a little bit of a progress, it bounces you back twice, okay? So you make, say, um, it, it just it bounces you back beneath the line you started. And uh, as soon as that happens, you just need to leave that thing for the next week or for the next month, if you will. Only tackle and perform into those activities and into those enterprises that you are feeling passionate about uh, and that pretty much it, it produces results. For with, the, for with the energies of the Wheel of Fortune, <coughs> I do apologize. For with the, the energies of the Wheel of Fortune, things are supposed to happen with ease, okay? Things are supposed to happen. Seemingly, you do push it a little bit and it just, it, it moves, it, 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 how can I say, traverses his way to the very end. It just needed a little bit of a push. So moving next, we do have the positive aspects that are going to help you throughout the week. That is going to be the 10 of cups. So with the 10 of cups, um, few things are going to help you through the week. One of them, it's the place of peace. What I mean, it is that no matter what you are dealing with throughout the week, you always have something or you are always going to have something that you can return to. Either you are very stressed in work because of all the small changes that are happening here and there and you have to keep up with them, okay? Or same thing could happen within your relationship as well that card may pose that you all that you have a friend out there that it is always ready to listen to you and to to help you with your things that that card refers to a place or a person that literally when you are with them all of the problems disappear from your mind you are feeling protected you are feeling like untouched from the uh, from the exterior the other thing that the Ten of Cups here points, it is to your vision for the future. Uh, when you think of where those small changes that the uh, universe is bringing into you here, because the universe is, is bringing it to you, it, these, these changes are not results of anyone's influence. They, it's just they are happening because this is how the circumstances aligned. But when you think of those uh, those changes the more and more you think of them the more and more you are going to realize that when those changes develop these small changes becomes big changes and these big changes become the lifetime change you are hoping for or you're waiting for uh, when that moment comes you are to um, find your life worth living again or worth or more worth living again, if it is worth living again right now. Our life always worth living, but its worth is going to increase exponentially once the change wraps itself around. And like I said, you're not quite there, okay? That this week is not gonna get you there, but you're gonna reach a pretty substantial and fulfilling milestone getting yourself there. And the last thing that is gonna help you guys uh, moving forward, that is the, this aspect of the human nature that I never understood, okay, because I'm not that kind of a person, but I guess that's a virtue rather than affliction. And that is the, uh, the side of the human nature that dictates that no matter how much you have, you always can go for more. And you should always strive for more. I guess that's true because we humans and every every being in generally it's uh, it's here to progress it's here to develop 
And no matter how developed you are, you can always be more developed than you are right now. So that's th this mindset should help you to move through the week with the most beneficial results as possible. And the last card we got for you, Sagittarius, this is going to be the Two of Cups, which is uh, the guidance that Tarot is offering. So needless to say, it is that if you are in love with somebody or somebody is in, in love with you, you definitely got to give it a go, got to give it a chance. Love is going to come by your side throughout the week. That, it, 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 that, that could be the circumstance, in fact, that is going to pose those small changes to start happening. It's going to change your concept and it's going to change your, uh, in generally, the vision that you do have over the world. But uh, the other thing, the more practical uh, gift, the more practical guidance that the Two of uh, Cups here poses, it is that you, Sagittarius, need to aim for the best of your abilities to maintain peace in communications and in relationships, regardless are those intimate relationships, business relationships, friendship, family relationships, etc., etc. How you can do so? Well, according to that card, as you can see in it, everybody makes his own pay. Everybody tra traverses their own uh, predetermined, if I may say it that way, distance and path. Okay, you cannot, no matter how much you desire somebody, if they don't put the effort to traverse the distance, half of the distance that separates them from you, there is no point in doing anything. Uh, but you also need to do your part in it. You have to traverse your distance. And in order to do so, uh, you need to put your pride and uh, shines as well on the shelf. Otherwise, it's just it's not going to work out as beautifully as it is uh, as it is supposed to work out. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And... Uh, we, uh, we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.